I'd like to ask you about allegations you're practicing medicine without a license. Well, I don't know where you come up with that idea. Since we last confronted Brian Clement, he's dropped the title doctor, but he's still aggressively pursuing clients for his Florida health spa. And he isn't backing down from his questionable health claims. Please don't touch me. This was Clement last year. We've had more people reverse cancer than any institute in the history of health care. And now he's at it again. Last week, we had somebody at the institute that reversed multiple sclerosis. Clement says his Hippocrates Health Institute has helped many people do the same. The nurse that came to us two years ago was crippled, had braces on. By the time she left Hippocrates, she reversed multiple sclerosis. He was uh, appealing to fear quite a bit, which is something that in science we don't do. Jonathan Jerry is a scientist and blogger. He went to hear Clement speak in Montreal in September. I have no respect for people who are selling false hopes to vulnerable individuals uh, who are looking for magical cures, who are looking for any intervention that will help them. He just said that if I went to their um, institution and stayed on the raw food diet, and followed their plan that he could definitely cure, that his program could cure my MS. Lots of sprouts. Marcia Mundell went to a Clement lecture in 2011. She spent over $10,000 at Clement's spa and maintained the strict diet for a year, but her MS has not improved. Well, I think he's giving false hope to people. Dr. Mark Friedman says there's no known cure for MS. To say that they can reverse deficits that led to crippling disease, very unbelievable. You, you need to have some kind of scientific uh, rigor behind it. Let him do a trial. Let him, let, him, let him prove what he's saying. Clement didn't respond to our requests for an interview. A talk he was supposed to give at an elementary school in Qualicum Beach, BC, was canceled today after we called to ask about it. He still has two more lectures scheduled on Vancouver Island tonight and tomorrow. Connie Walker, CBC News, Toronto.